I don't believe this. Jamie Probert came fourth in the junior national cross country. Oh, who'd have thought it? I beat him last season. Easy. <clears throat> so how come your picture's not in the paper then? Because I didn't get selected, did I? Because I didn't know the right people. Which is why I need to go to Lanzarote. Oh, listen, sweetheart, we've been through all this. We can't afford it. Look at us, we can't even afford the toaster. But it's not fair. I'm not going to make it stuck in flaming Weatherfield, am I? Well, maybe if you got yourself another job, you could save up and do it next year. You just don't get it, do you? I've been offered a training place now. I'm ready now. Next year, they'll be too old. What's that make us, geriatrics? Look, this athletics, right? You only get one chance. And what if you don't make it? What if you get injured or you find out that you're not good enough? Change your record. Well, you will have wasted the best years of your life. You'll be hanging around the job centre wondering where it all went wrong. As usual, man. Thanks for your support. What are you looking at me like that for? Well, you could have shown the lad a bit of encouragement. Oh, I will. I'll encourage him to join the real world. Dreams are all right for those that can afford them. Unfortunately, we can't. Ash, where are you going? To the shop. I've got another recipe for my sausages. What do you have to? Well, time's run out till competition. I need practice. I thought we might practice a bit ourselves. It's Mother's Day today. I thought it might be a lucky omen. I'm sorry, Max. I'll not be long honest. I'll make sure we'll be back for lunch with Curly's. Oh, all right. Just make sure you don't eat too much. No? Huh? Because I'll make sure you've got room for dessert. Mm. Come on, then. What we might have a kick about. Oh, maybe you go into town for a burger. Sound good? Suppose. Mm. Hiya. Hiya. All right. Yeah, not bad. You still doing that car? Well, yeah, I'm just doing a bit of fine-tuning at the moment. Yeah, but you said that I could help you do that. Yeah, but you're busy today, aren't you? Yeah, he is. So, come on, let's go. See you then. See you later, then. Well, come on, son. Some Sundays I could just stay in bed, you know? Crawl under the duvet with a nice box of chocolates. What, no bit? No way. And I'd love to share. Are you all right? So I can't believe they cheated on me. I mean, how long's it been going on, eh? Could have been seen her for ages. Gina! Oh, no. I don't want to talk to her. I've got nothing to say. Gina. I don't want to Gina, talk please. to Please, just give me one minute, OK? Just one minute, OK? OK, I know what you're thinking, OK? But it's not what it looks like. Isn't it? Then why did you have a girl living in your flat, Dev? What was she doing spring cleaning? Maybe it's complicated, OK? I can't really explain it here. It's complicated. Yeah, it always is. Gina. Gina! Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Do you know, I've really been looking forward to today. Yes, me too. Where's David? Oh, don't tell me he's gone to get a last-minute card again. <laughs> no, he's with Martin. Oh, right. So, this is officially a male-free zone, is it? Uh, well, Sam said something about he might be calling around later because he got to fix the car and he said something about tweaking the points. Ooh! Look at car. <laughs> Wouldn't mind having a quick tweak from the pipe. Oh, oh ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, don't you tell me that you've never thought of that. You know, some women would give their eye teeth to have their own private stripper. You're terrible, you. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, when you get to my age, men are more trouble than they were. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I, sweetheart? Mm. I suppose so. Oh, yes. Now, what I'm saying, darling, is there any chance of getting an upgrade? Economy class is not my idea of holiday. What's he up to? Yeah. He's taking his young lad to Florida this after. Oh, right. Well, we better get this show on the road. Oh, yes. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to miss this place. Right, thanks for all your trouble. Bye. Sorry about that, fellas. Now, where were we? Fred, we're just getting all sentimental. Oh, you don't want to do that. The licensing trade's going downhill. We don't want to be going down with it. Mm. There you are. Well, let's hope the new owners haven't heard the same rumours. Mm. Come on in, gents. Come on, make yourselves at home. This is Mike Baldwin, Fred Elliott. Lads, you already know Colin Fielding, representing the purchasers, okay. Hamilton Griffiths Holdings, and their solicitor, Brian Hudson. Now, this is our brief. Phil Everett is here to make sure that everything's Morning. legal and above board. How Morning. do? How Morning. do? Morning. All right. Introduction's over. Let's get down to business. Well, before we do, I just want to tell you there's been a bit of movement on the asking price. But I thought we'd agreed on 14 and a half. We had, but uh, we changed our minds, didn't we, lads? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. We, we've reconsidered our original price. 18,000, three times, and the place is yours. This is outrageous. No, it's business. Depends how much you want the place. What's all this? 
It's only the neighbours come in. Well, you've got to make an effort, haven't you? And anyway, it was your idea to invite them. Yeah, if it was up to me, they'd be having oven chips. That's true. So what's in here? Oi. A bottle of red, a bottle of white, and a joint of Fresco's finest meat. And Maxine won't like that. Exactly. That's why I got a nut roast for her and Charlie. Um, do you think those two will be all right? I mean, the atmosphere was a bit uh, edgy the other night. Oh, don't worry, they'll be fine. Right, what do you want me to do? Peel the veg? No, I want you to sit down, take your shoes off, watch the television, and drink the cup of tea I'm about to make you. Oh, you know, I knew there was a reason why I married you. Oh, and there's me thinking it was just for the ring. <laughs> I've been like this before lunchtime, honestly. Oh, what was that? Oh, I, I, I just want to uh, let you know about I've finished in the garage. Oh, uh, no hey, problem. Just hang on a minute, young man, please, because I am very disappointed with you, actually. Sorry? Yes, yes, well, so you should be sorry, because I'm very upset to find out that your intentions towards my daughter have been absolutely and entirely honourable. Uh, <laughs> Call yourself a stripper. Ma'am, stop it! <laughs> Hiya, Sarah. Y you all right? Yeah. Right, I, I suppose I better get off then. Oh. I'll, I'll see you later. Oh, thanks anyway. Well, would you like to, um, would you like to stay for dinner? Because, I mean, I've made loads. It's all right, isn't it, Mum? Oh, you're not going to inflict your lasagna on poor Sam, are you? He said he liked it before. <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely, darling, but Sam's got his own family to see too. Actually, I, I did say I'd see my mum this afternoon. Thanks anyway for the invite. I'll see you later. No. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh. You're right, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. oh, come on. Your mum didn't mean what she said about your lasagna. We I mean, talk about tackless. Don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> 16,000. Well, that's our final offer. I don't think we'll get him any higher. Tough. My share's 18 grand or nothing. Get yeah, that goes for me and all. It's a deal. You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> you see? You don't ask, <laughs> you don't get. Right then, gentlemen. If I could just ask you to sign the contracts. There. And Thank you. There. And, uh, Mr. Ferguson, if you just sign on the dotted line here, and then we finish with all the paperwork. Hang on a sec. Why is only Dougie signing that one? I'm not sure I understand. Well, we're partners, aren't we? I mean, don't we all need to sign that? Well, you can sign it if you want, Mike. But only if you want to buy back the pub. That we most certainly do not. We've only just got rid. I see. Gentlemen, <laughs> I think the time has come for me to introduce you to the main investor of Hamilton Griffith and the new owner of the Rover's Return, Mr. Dougie Ferguson. You crafty son of a... No. No, you haven't. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. This is an outrage. We've been duped, defrauded. Yeah, well, I haven't got time for this now, but you'll be hearing from my solicitor, Ferguson. I think you'll find I've done nothing illegal. Is he pulling my leg? I think you'll find the worst Mr. Ferguson could be accused of is sharp practice. Sharp practice? I say sharp practice. I don't know which law school you went to, Sonny, but I bet you weren't top of class. I don't know why you lads are getting so upset. You didn't want the pub anyway. How dare you? Oh, yes, 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 Fred. When you wanted to play mine host or you needed somewhere for your flaming sausage competition. No, that's not fair. Isn't it? I've been running this place on my own. I tell you what, if it makes you feel any better, try thinking of this as my... Um, Compensation. I will think of it for what it is. It's criminal. What do you say, Michael? Ah. Well done, Dougie. I took my eye off the ball, but you better watch yourself. Well done. What? What? what is that all you can say? We pay twenty thousand for a share of this place. He's got it for just eighteen. Fred, you can bluster and bellow all you like. It's not going to change the facts. I own the Rovers. Well, you two can argue as long as you like. I've got a plane to catch. Uh, could you bring Adam round this afternoon? I'd like to say goodbye to him. Yeah, all right. Fred, got to go. Talk okay. to you later. A word of warning, young lady. Watch that man there. I say, watch that man there. He's now but a shark and a charlatan.
What was he on about? Oh, I don't think he's too keen on the new owner. Yeah, well, whoever it is, they can't be any worse than the three of you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I tell you, I have had some rubbish bosses in my time, but you really take the biscuit. Well, that's a shame, because the new owner's quite like me. Looks like me. Sounds like me. And would you believe it? He is me. What? You heard. Ah, yeah. Hello. Hey, old Pash. There you go. Oh, cheers, mate. What kept you? Oh, I've been doing a bit of experimentation in shop. You know, different spices. Adjusting the roast to a meat ratio. Sausages. Oh, oh, she's very dedicated. Oh, the infamous Weatherfield Sausage Trail. Is it just me? Does anyone understand it? It's where a panel of experts meet the general public and visit their local butchers and vote on their favourite sausage. It's quite simple, really. It'd have to be. Norman? Yeah. I'm not an expert, but that meat looks practically raw. Oh, no. No, you know what I've done? I forgot to turn the oven up when I put the spuds in. Well, what are we going to do? Because the veg is nearly ready. I don't know. Um, I hope you're not too hungry, everyone, because... Uh, Looks like it's nut roast all round. <laughs> you can't have a Sunday dinner without me. Oh, let's pick the butcher for you. <laughs> tell you what, I'll go and get me sausages. I'll go down the street with them roast potatoes. Hey, good idea, mate. He may not be a doctor, but he's great in a crisis. Look, how many times she doesn't want to Gina, see can't we please just have a conversation without your minders? Why I've let you in. I don't even want to talk to you. Yeah, don't talk. Okay, don't talk. Just give me a chance to explain. Don't even bother, Dev. Natalie warned me about you. Mm -hmm. About how you treat women. Oh, come on. That's not fair. No, and neither's this. All this time you've been telling me about how much I mean to you. And I believed you. I was actually beginning to think we had something really special. Oh, baby, we have. Oh, yeah. So special that you had to cheat on me. No, I didn't cheat. Oh, Dev, please. Please be honest with me. We both know you've got a woman in your flat. Okay. Okay, her name's Sunita Pareg. She works in one of my shops. One of your employees? Yeah. Oh, well, boss's perks, I suppose. No, no, she was having family trouble. I was trying to help her it's out. She needed she someone to say, it's the truth. Oh, Dad, please, just get out. I don't even want to hear it anymore. All right, come on. What are you doing? I said, come on. Yeah. Oh, I want to go home. Oh, you're not still going on about Sam's car? Yeah, we said we'd finish it together. Oh, David. Are you sure that he wants you hanging round all the time? Yeah, he likes it. Anyway, if you want to have a go at someone, you might as well have a go at Sarah. She's one with problem. Well, what are you on about? Sir, she's mad about Sam. Should see a diary. Get off me, Dad! OK, Adam, now listen, you look after yourself. No wandering off on your own, all right? And take care of that arm. I'll be all right. Bye. Bye. You will look after him. Yeah. You know I will. What are you doing? Just, just, just stop it, will you? Oh, Deb, what's going on? Nothing. Deb. No, 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 actually, I think you should join us here. Yeah? Maybe I should set the record straight on all fronts. Just stand there, OK? Just one more. So what exactly does it say in this diary? Well, I don't know. It's all this soppy girl stuff about Sam. About when he took her for a drive and when he touched her leg and stuff. It's dead embarrassing. And what else does it say? Well, nothing really. She just goes on and on about him. About how they've got something special. And anyway, I shouldn't say not because Sam says it's not fair. What do you mean? Well, he says I shouldn't say anything because it would upset Sarah. I don't see why. It's not his fault girls are stupid. Now listen to me, David. Are you absolutely sure that Sam said, don't tell anyone about this? Yeah. Why? What's the problem? I've had enough of this now. What's going on? What are you doing? Listen, it's all right, OK? There's no need to panic. Of course I'm panicking. No one's supposed to know no, I'm here. It's really all right, OK? No one's going to say anything. It's just that things have got a little bit more uh, complicated. Gina, this is Sunita. Sunita, this is Gina. This is my girlfriend. All right. And this is Vikram. Hi. Uh, look, I don't mean to be rude, but unless somebody tells me what's going on, I'm going straight out that door. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't want to cause any trouble. 
it's just that I've got myself into a right mess and Dev, well Dev, he came to my rescue. What do you mean rescue? Rescued you from what? This Sunday I'm booked on a flight to India. I'm supposed to be getting married there, only I've changed my mind. But my mum says I can't and I've got to go. I don't want to. So we've had this huge fight and now I'm hiding from my own family. Well, that was so Hi, baby. Can just go upstairs, please? That? I said upstairs. Now. What's going on? Well, that's what I've come to find out. Starting with Sam. Yes. Sam that likes to take little girls out on drives in his car. Martin, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I think you do, Sarah. I think Gina will be all right. Yeah, she's all right. Just a bit of a shock. Yeah, well, not just for her. You know, I never would have thought it. My cousin, the hero. Yeah, all right, Vic. <laughs> oh, I mean it. But, uh, I'm sorry, mate. If it comes to machetes at dawn, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a funny guy. Yeah. Look, I I'm sorry. I know I'm causing you <clears throat> loads of trouble. Cheers. I can find somewhere else to stay. No, 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 it's done. Look, I told you, you can stay here, and I meant it. No one said it was going to be easy. Well, what are your family going to do? I don't know. You know how it works. This wedding's been planned for months. Everyone's involved. Aunties, uncles, dad's business contacts. It's not just a case of cancelling the cake. I'm sorry, I've just got such a bad headache. Stress. Look, I'll get you something from the shop, yeah? OK. Hey, you're a braver man than me. And involved with other people's families. Worse than your own. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, if you keep shooting your mouth off, so you've got to be on that plane before you know it. So the best thing you can do is keep your eyes open and that mouth of yours shut. OK? Yeah. Look, Sarah, you're not the one that's in trouble here. I just want to know what's been going on between you and Sam. I don't believe this. I'm asking Sarah, Gail. Martin, I haven't done anything. Well, that's not what it says in your diary. Yes. David told me. My diary? Yeah. Oh, I knew it! I knew he'd been looking in my bag. Well, it's a good job he did. It's private! How could you? How could you read it? Well, I haven't read it, but I will do, unless you tell me exactly what's been going on. Oh, Mum, please, will you tell him? Just tell him he can't read it. Oh, Sam, I love you. I love it when you hold my hand. Oh, Sam, you mad you Oh, are. shut oh, up! All right, all right, now calm Just down. Just get up those stairs, you, now. Well, come on, Sarah. I'm waiting for some answers. Right, that's it. I'm going to go and get Sam. Oh, Martin, please, will you just... So, here we go. Now, I'd like you to give each sausage a mark out of ten. And remember, it's about taste, texture and appearance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's this one, then. Definitely. 10 out of 10. Yeah. He's right. Mm -hmm. No question. That is a Premier League bit of sausage, mate. Emma? Um, yeah, yeah, I'd have to agree with them. This is definitely the nicest. What's up? Did we choose the wrong one? No, 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 it's, fa it's fine. It's fine. What's the matter? They loved it. Yeah, they did. They loved that one. I don't believe it, Max. Someone's gone really wrong. Why? What's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. It's the one I made for you. Fleming vegetarian. Bill! Play me now, <laughs> Mum. How old are you? The bad for your teeth, them, son. Hey, I'm for your wallet. Spend less on them and you'll soon be on your way to Lanzarote. As if. Hey, look, uh, I've been thinking about this sporting trip of his. I've got a few quid left over from the sale of the bike. No, don't even think about it. It'll only be a loan. Listen, you're a sweetheart and you're generous and everything else I love about you, but no. If anyone should be forking out for this, it should be Jason's dad, not you. I was only trying to help. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Mm. Okay, what's up, huh? I thought we were okay. Yes, yeah, so did I. 
suppose I should be pleased, eh? Never had a knight in shining armor for a boyfriend before. <laughs> well, if you put it like that. It's just, I keep thinking how good you were. You know how good you were at keeping it a secret from me. Uh, yeah, but you understand why I had to do that, darling. I mean, the girl, she could have been in real trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But I keep thinking about how you did it. About all the times we were together and you had this secret from me and I couldn't tell. But why does that bother you? You're a very good liar, Dev. Very good. Look, I'll say it one more time. There's no to any of this. Yeah, yeah, OK. Fair enough. So why is my daughter writing stuff as though there is? Well, you'll have to ask Sarah that. I mean, Gail, I, I swear nothing happened. Yeah, is it because she's got a baby? <sighs> hey, is that the way it works? Does she look like an easy target Martin, to you? stop it! Gail! I can't see why you're trying to protect him. Unless you feel guilty, of course. Guilty? Yes, guilty! I mean, all this has been going on right under your nose. You didn't even notice. Do you think I wouldn't notice if something was going on with my well, daughter? You didn't notice when she was pregnant. That's got nothing to do oh, with this, Sarah. For goodness sake, now come on down and talk to me. Is there anything in this? Now, come on, you can tell me, love. I mean, all this stuff in your diary, I mean, did you make it all up or what? Sarah, please. No one was meant to see it. I mean, it's my diary. It's Private. It's okay. Don't you Martin, talk to me. Just get away away from her. I know what you're trying to do. Just keep away from her. I used to like coming here. I thought you were a nice family. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm a bit slow on the uptake. But I'd rather be like me than you lot. You're disgusting. Tonight, in an hour. We're lost. I think we're winning. Fighting fire with London's burning. And on the way next, it's Heartbeat.